Welcome to a UNCG Libraries video tutorial on PubMed Mesh. PubMed is a free database with full text connection through UNCG, supporting the search and retrieval of biomedical and life sciences literature with the aim of improving health both globally and personally. To learn more about PubMed, go to go.uncg.edu slash PubMed intro. PubMed uses a controlled vocabulary called Mesh, medical subject headings. What is a controlled vocabulary? It's a set of terms agreed upon by people with expertise in a field, which can then be used to tag and locate relevant sources. It's a powerful tool to have in your PubMed toolbox, and this video will show you how to use it. You can think about controlled vocabularies like this. Let's say that you and two of your friends have started a website where you sell clothing, including sweatshirts. You might call them hoodies, one of your friends calls them pullovers, and the third refers to them as jumpers. If you were creating a controlled vocabulary for your website, you would come together and agree on one term to tag all sweatshirts with, making them easier to locate. If you all just kept using your own terms, Every time you wanted to find sweatshirts on your website, you would have to search for each of the different terms to locate the relevant items. And other people who come to your website might not even consider using the term jumper, so their searches would never return a portion of the sweatshirts you sell, and they'd have an incomplete picture of what's available. A controlled vocabulary solves this problem by designating one consistent agreed upon term for a given concept. The controlled vocabulary that PubMed uses is called MESH, Medical Subject Headings. Researchers in the wild might use a variety of terms when they write and publish studies about the same subject. When a Medline article is added to PubMed, it's tagged with MESH terms. So acne, for example, or high blood pressure. There's a variety of words researchers might use to refer to these conditions, but each article would be tagged with the agreed upon MESH term, allowing you to quickly and confidently locate relevant articles without having to figure out all of the many terms researchers researchers may have used. So now let's take a look at how to use MeSH terms when you perform a search in PubMed. Keep in mind that MeSH terms are subject headings covering topics like health conditions, populations, and geographics, not keywords. In other words, the MeSH term is what the article is about. It's the theme of the article, not just a word that appears within the article. This is why using MeSH is such an effective way to quickly locate citations most relevant to your research needs. When you search with MeSH, the results return citations tagged with that subject heading, and you can add multiple MeSH terms to narrow your results to exactly what you're looking for. We'll start with a very quick strategy to get you started with understanding and using MeSH. I'm going to start from the UNCG Libraries website to obtain access to the UNCG PubMed connection to the catalog in order to avoid paywalls. I'll click Databases from the red box and then under Popular Databases, PubMed. This is the quickest and best way to get here, but a PubMed link from a research guide by subject or course guide from the website or Canvas also works. You might be most familiar with searching with keywords, so we'll start there. I'll type acne into the search bar. I'll just locate an article that I'm pretty certain is relevant to what I'm looking for, and I'll click to open it. Along the side, you'll notice some options, and one of them is mesh. Click this to view the MeSH terms that this article was tagged with. This is a good way to get started because it helps you quickly identify the MeSH for your search. So here I find the MeSH term acne vulgaris. Click the term and then search in MeSH to learn more about it, including its definition to help you confirm it's the term you're looking for. Another way to get started with MeSH is to examine how PubMed interpreted your search terms. When you perform a basic search, PubMed is working behind the scenes to try to apply relevant MeSH terms to your search. You can review the terms it applied to your search by clicking Advanced below the search box on the search results page. Look for your search terms below History and Search Details and expand the details to view the MeSH terms that it applied. Alternatively, you could browse the MeSH database. 
From PubMed, below Explore, click Mesh Database. Type a term into the search box. Review the resulting list of potential matches. Each appears with a definition. You can also click the term to learn more, including where it fits into the mesh hierarchy of terms. The hierarchy reveals broader terms above and more specific terms below. You might find that a term in either direction might be more accurate to your needs, but in general, you want to select the most specific term related to your search. Either way, reviewing this structure is a great way to build your familiarity with Mesh. Once you've identified the Mesh you'd like to apply to your search, look for the PubMed Search Builder. Click Add to Search Builder. You will also find on the page a list of related subheadings that might help strengthen your search. For example, diagnosis. If you are looking for citations related to the diagnosis of food hypersensitivities, select any terms you wish to apply and then click Add to Search Builder. You can navigate away from the page to continue browsing Mesh, and you'll notice that the Search Builder doesn't lose what's already been added. So you can continue to browse and add terms to narrow the results. So if I'm looking for articles about food hypersensitivities and eczema, I can locate that Mesh term and add it to my search as well, ensuring I've used the correct search connector from the dropdown. When I'm done adding terms, I'll click Search PubMed, and then prepare to be amazed by the list the search returns. Use the filters on the left to further narrow the search, for example, by date. Keep in mind that not every article gets indexed and there may be a lag of several weeks, so plan to supplement your mesh searches with keyword searches as well for the most complete picture of your topic. Please remember that your UNCG librarians are always happy to help. You can always go to go.uncg.edu slash librarian APPT to schedule an appointment about anything related to research or chat UNCG libraries through the UNCG libraries chat service.